Um, so I've been dancing since I was about seven, and I made a decision to come to the Charimash School of Dance for a couple of years, and then I started dancing Charimash just over ten years ago. And I've been dancing probably since the age of five or so. Um, a Charimash alumnus told me to come see Makola, so I saw Makola when I was, I think, 12 years old in Chumak and worked my way up to Chattermosh and I've been dancing in Chattermosh since 1996. The company Chattermosh grew up in lately and we still have a, uh, we still have a, uh, a, a big amount of uh, dancers, like over 50 person here. And working with this kind of group, with this kind of level, for one person like me already start a little bit, a little bit tight. Because we have a, a new production, we have a new dances, and all dances keep it whole repertoire. It's a, from one person already not uh, very easy in this case. We all long time already talking about assistant artistic director for Cherimosh Ukrainian Dance Company, who will be no repertoire, no style company, uh, uh, know every dancer and feel how working. And uh, we're coming to a solution in, in invite for a position uh, uh, assistant artistic director for Cherimosh Ukrainian Dance Company to senior dancer. Uh, Daniel Berry and Kendra uh, Kuri uh, uh, from uh, ladies part and gentlemen part and that's why we invite them and they try help me with keep it company in shape and learn with uh, especially for new dancer uh, learn repertoire what they know very well because many years they dance it already over 10 years. When I came to Chermashina, uh, Chermash's feeder group at the beginning. The reason I came to that group was because of McCola's expertise. I wanted to train under somebody who had the level of education, level of experience, and the artistic talent that McCola has. When I first saw McCola and was under his direction, it was a new world for me. It was a different scope. Everything in Ukraine dance in Canada at that time was the same. You either did a Hutzel dance or a Poltava dance. And McCola was kind of really the first innovative person that brought out other regions and other techniques and completely different steps from anyone else. So. It's not was too big a question why is Daniel, uh, because Daniel and I believe, I believe it's a, one of the longer uh, amateur dancer in Edmonton. He's this year, next year will be 20 years in Chermosh Ukrainian Dance Company. He dedicated whole his 20 years life to company. Definitely, he is one of senior dancers and one of uh, best dancers in, in company. And that's why it's no equation. He brings for men and combination and respect. Dancers respect him and they have to do exactly what he is. When I think of the expectations of a dancer, I, I think there's a few words that come to my mind. Uh, commitment, dedication, hard work. Um, those, those are a few. I say that because in order to dance this company you have to have the commitment and the hard work to succeed and to do that you need the dedication. Well, Kendra, uh, uh, very serious person, very precisely everything. With senior dancer, with senior, she is an opposition senior dancer. She always working full out, all, always dance and very precisely with everything. That's make me idea. She can working with small details. Boys, even boys, sometimes in, in girls, girls and boys, it doesn't matter. Uh, she will precisely working on it, every combination, every steps, and make it uh, this work uh, situation with every dance better. Uh, being a chairmash dancer is very demanding. It's demanding as far as your time commitment. Uh, a lot of energy has to go into it. A lot of dedication. Uh, it's not a, a recreational ensemble. There are um, some pretty high stakes and, and the chairmash reputation probably being at, at the highest of that. And, and the assistant directors come in, I think, is to really expedite that learning process for the newer dancers to help pick out the little things that each dancer needs to improve on and to just get that overall picture uh, looking better. Uh, the more a company grow up, the more the more uh, another work around company and I will be probably have a little bit more time 
uh, spent with new production, uh, new dances for 50 years anniversary company, what is will be taken because uh, what we're doing in Chiremosh, wherever, every dance is a unique dance, unique costume, unique music, and everything what you do in unique, you have to spend more time there. And I have a, uh, my responsibility about whole society. I have a younger group and also need my attention. In this case, I don't want to lose that uh, level Cherimosh. In this case, I need people who will be behind me, company. And if I need to go somewhere and work it up, we're not lost at any minute, any second, practice working with all the steps and combination. What is, uh, we need this assistant directors. Tours have been on, have been quite a few. I've toured across Canada. Western and Eastern Canada, um, Aberdeen comes to mind, China, um, Bulgaria, Idaho, uh, recently New York, which was incredible. Well, when I first started dancing in the group, the group was preparing for the Revolutions Tour, which was across uh, Western Canada, Western United States. It was a really exciting time to be starting in the group. Uh, since then, I've participated in a few tours, one of them being China, uh, I've toured with the group to Ukraine, uh, to New York and Philadelphia, uh, and across Alberta as well. All sorts of uh, smaller communities that wouldn't necessarily see a large show unless they came into one of the cities like Edmonton or Calgary, and, uh, and across Western Canada. The most memorable tour for me would be uh, a couple of them. China was, was memorable for um, different reasons. It, it was a very demanding tour and quite harsh on our bodies just because of the difference of cultures and food and um, it was it was a different culture it was a shock for us for a lot of us we didn't know what to expect and, and it was quite a bit different and then Ukraine was well it's, it's home right it's our motherland in, in a certain term and it, it, it was incredible it was an emotional tour I think my most memorable tour with the company was our most recent tour to Philadelphia and New York and to have the success that we did. It's something that dancers of all sorts of different genres can appreciate and understand. Uh, my most challenging tour was definitely China. Uh, I think we did about 10 shows in two and a half weeks. So just the volume of performances, traveling from city to city and the different obstacles that we encountered. It's a, it's a totally different culture there. The theaters are completely different, but uh, it was memorable because of that, but definitely the most challenging too. On tour with Cheddar Marsh is, we're not there to go on vacation. We're not there to sit on beaches. The main goal for us is to dance and perform in front of a new audience and to represent Cheddar Marsh and Canada and Edmonton, Alberta. So, you know, with a tour like China, like Kendra said earlier, we did 10 different cities and, you know, we'd finish one city, get a few, a few hours of sleep and we'd be up early again to on to the next city to perform. What I really enjoy is the intensity of the tours because everybody is on that same page just knowing that this is something professional and everybody's focus is on the, show, the next show that we have, wherever or whenever that is. I guess my role in the studio, although officially it's changed, I feel it, it really hasn't in terms that the senior dancers were always looked upon to teach the younger dancers and new dances so that McCola didn't have to. Um, but now we have, I guess, an official title. Yeah, I think Dan phrased it quite well. It's not that our responsibilities in the studios have changed. Uh, maybe they've just changed to be a little bit more formal because the senior dancers are responsible for teaching the new choreography, helping some of the younger dancers, less experienced dancers, learning the, the style that Tremosh has, is the, the different nuances and the different regions that we're performing. So for me, it's a little bit of an adjustment to be more formally responsible for that. For a younger dancer coming in now, they, Kendra and I are out there and they know they can always come to us. So uh, some advice that I, I'd like to to get to the younger dancers coming in is that you know it, it's a lot of hard work to get here but that's just the beginning and throughout my years of dancing here I always felt that if I became complacent and didn't try to get better that I'm really not doing anything for the group as long as I'm dancing here I'm always going to try to improve and get better and keep on working harder and the great part is that it pays off if, if you put in that effort and that hard work 
Uh, you create relationships that last a lifetime. You're part of tours and experiences that a lot of people don't get to be involved in. I think that the decision to audition for Charmosh should be one that's taken seriously. Uh, a lot of dancers aspire to be part of a semi-professional company or to be part of a, a company with a staff such as Charmosh. And uh, there's a lot of years of, of dancing, a lot of experience, a lot of technique that goes into being ready to audition. And that's really just the beginning. And I think that's uh, some advice that I would give to a new dancer is that if you've made it into Cherimosh, that isn't the end, that isn't that you've made it. That's the beginning of your journey as a semi-professional dancer and your growth as, as being somebody who can perform on some of the world-class stages that Cherimosh performs on. I think uh, being a current dancer in the studio and an assistant at the same time, we may maybe have a better understanding of how a dancer is feeling at that moment. You know, if a dancer is tired, um, if that dancer just needs a break at that moment, or if they need to go over something. Um, it gives us a better feeling of that. Um, because we know the people in the company. Yeah. Yeah. Being a dancer and an assistant director, I think is a little bit of a challenging dynamic to maintain. Um, but being a current dancer does help in the sense that we know what's happening in the studio right now. We know, we know the people that are involved in the company. We know the challenges that they face. Really, I think we, we try to work together mm -hmm and we lean on one another um, to work with the dancers. I think if it was just myself or just Kendra by herself, that it would be a bigger task. And so I think we work together mostly. Yeah, I would, I would agree. I think we're just both really excited about where Charmosh is going to go in the next few years mm -hmm. with some of these changes. Mm -hmm.